Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Volkswagen Golf. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a two litre TDI Blue Motion Tech GTD DSG. 2016 on a 65 plate. Has done 58,365 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 50.4 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 65.7 miles per gallon. Combined is 60.1 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 7.5 seconds, a top speed of 142 miles per hour, and a four cylinder 181 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Road tax is very cheap at £30 per annum. Now we try and buy all the, the best examples of cars that we can, uh, and when I say we, I mean John because he buys them. Uh, and this one is a one owner with a full service history and it, it's above and beyond a full service history it's it's virtually been done every six months so it's one owner beautiful car drives fantastic looks great great specification too so gtd badges and the vw badge in chrome there on the front you've got front parking sensors the daytime running lights five dual spoke diamond cut and piano black alloy wheels the all important gtd badge uh, on the side there power folding door mirrors the matte black window surrounds rear privacy glass the integrated tailgate spoiler at the top there privacy glass in the back window of course rear wash wipe the vw badge doubles as the boot handle the boot release load cover split rear seats we've got to get your home spare wheel not an inflator so that's marginally better I, I suppose reversing sensors in the bumper there the twin exhaust tips plenty of headroom the usual problem with uh, adults when you sit in the back seats of these cars these days the the designers put the headrest down so obviously when you when there's nobody sat in the back you you've got a, a better view out the back window uh, unfortunately when you get in the car it sticks right in the middle of your back so just knock the head restraints up there seats are really really comfortable sports seats built up not so much for the, the person who gets the middle seat, um, but I suppose really a, a four-seater. Nice armrest there and uh, cup holders. Well, well finished. And and it this reminds me of the when the Golf GTIs first came out with this kind of plaid interior, the the sports interior, and uh, happy days, proper cars. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. That's a, a three doors a bit of a stretch there. So, fantastic car, lovely car. Uh, two golf keys as you would expect. As long as you've got the keys on your foot on the brake, press that button, the vehicle will start. Then you need to find somewhere to put those where they don't rattle. Um, great service history in this car. Let me just get it. Um, you know, there's there's nothing better to see a car service book that's been signed and dated, stamped with the stamp the right way up in in the right box, and and just to flip through. Uh, the service book knowing that the the car's been really really well looked after however they don't do service books these days it's a digital service history and basically the the, the best we can get is this so on the 9th of the 6th 2017 at 18,818 miles it was serviced at um, Inchcape Volkswagen on the 16th of the 2nd, 2018, at 28,115 miles, 
inch cape Volkswagen. The 30th of the 10th, 2018 at 37,370 miles, inch cape Volkswagen. The 5th of the 8th, 2019, 46,798 miles, inch cape Volkswagen. 21st of the 1st, 2020 at 50,607 miles, inch cape Volkswagen. And the 5th of the 8th, 2020 at 55,321 miles inch Cape Volkswagen uh, Manchester the car's done 58,371 miles so tremendous service history when I, when I first started in the motor trade <laughs> many decades ago cars used to be serviced well an oil change every 3,000 miles and if you want a car to last that's the thing to do make sure you keep changing the oil and uh, this this guy obviously has uh, the the better you treat it and the better you run it in at the beginning the the longer it'll last and, and the better it'll treat you um so we've got here height and reach adjustable steering multifunction steering wheel with the paddle shifts on the side and uh into drive or you can knock it across the sport but i'll show you as, as we're going along so it's let me just see it's got there's the, the handbrake, you hear the handbrake going on, and uh, as long as you've got a seat belt on and everything, just click the accelerator and it'll go off. It's also got auto hold, hill hold, which of course you, you need with a, a car that's got an electronic parking brake, otherwise you've not got enough feet to do everything, especially if it's a manual. Great cars. Um, one of my favourites, and I think probably um, if Range Rovers hadn't been invented, then this would be a, an ideal car for everyday use. But it's uh, certainly the economy is there. Only thirty pounds a year to road tax. Drive really nice. It's got the harder suspension. Which means, it, of course, it drives it drives great on proper roads, um, but you do feel a, a, a few more bumps if you live in Preston. And uh, steering's great. I mean, I, when I, when I used to sell these cars, you could get a Golf driver, which looked a bit like a Golf GTI, but just had. The normal engine in and was cheap to insure so you kind of got the best of both worlds but then they brought out the turbo diesel and from memory the diesel although i could be wrong here but i'm i'm pretty sure the diesel was faster and a lot more economical that this is when they detune the the gti engine and everybody there was a huge uproar Now, I will say with this this car, I'm I'm pretty sure that the the tracking is slightly out. It could be tire pressure, but it's steering wheel's just off, just like one degree. So uh, we need to get that sorted. I'll try and remember to point that out to the mechanics. This is just the road test before we do the pre-sales checkover. We're, we're looking for the, the, the main thing is we're looking for faults like that that you would, wouldn't find on a, a ramp inspection so great driving position nice comfortable seats we've got the power folding dormers which probably won't go in because we're going too fast we'll just see if they do when we slow down might have to do it again yeah I'll do it later It's a really quick car. It's 60 miles an hour now, nice and quiet. Little bit of tyre noise, which you, you'd expect from the low profile tyres and the, and the harder suspension. Nothing too intrusive. Nice 
kind of imitation carbon fiber effect insets to the dash and door cards this this is where the car's at its best going around corners like so and hoping nobody pulls out on you they are fun to drive We've got a paddle shift here as well just knock down dig into the corners and accelerate away cruise control on the left hand side just here you can change your information display rev counter on the left speedo on the right in the speedo is your fuel gauge and in your rev counter on the left is your coolant temperature gauge the centre of your information display let me just check yeah speed consumption average consumption showing 47.5 there average consumption um, this this car is just as it's come in it's not being clean oh, stop start get off ah oh, dear me um all right hang on there you go power folding door mirrors Put them out again, hopefully. I do like golfs and uh, especially the turbo diesel. Uh, my girlfriend has, has had one of these for many years before she changed to an Audi A1. Just stop doing the mileage. It's, uh, Obviously, comes in handy when you're doing when you've got a diesel. Superb to drive. There we go, cruise. So it looks like it's Distronic 2. So there we go, we can we can set the cruise and then let me just um, get in a, the sun on the switch there. I, I can't actually see what the switch says. So set there. Mode ACC deactivated, adaptive cruise control on. There we go, just setting it to 70 miles an hour, and it's keeping me away, I think, from that car in front. off here so it's a bit unfortunate but uh, if I click that I should be able to reduce the there we go
remember driving the first Golf GTI, and uh, it was a, a, one of our customers, never driven one before, he said to me, go out in that, he just got it, it just come out, and uh, they were just so much better than everything else on the road at the time. First cruise control set, switch on there, set there. It's, it's a bit complicated, I have to say. And then if you click that, you can actually set the distance you want to be from the car in front like so, and it, it'll slow you down. If you get too close to the car in front, it, it'll slow you right down. It's just set at uh, 45 miles an hour at the moment, 50 mile an hour limit there, nothing behind me. front central armrest here you can knock the gear selector across like so and change down like so and up or knock it back across and change from the paddles there we go Pleasure to drive. Sat nav, Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming, whole host of other stuff. As you can see, their car, your tyres, and so on, and then you can. Uh, Touch that instead of sliding it across. Touch screen, stupid idea in a car. There we go, car, menu. That's what I meant to do, but so we're on a bumpy road and a touch screen on a bumpy road in a car with hard suspension. Is asking for trouble. Car can't fault the car in any way, shape, or form, apart from the tracking is slightly out. As I say, it could be tyre pressures, which I'll check when I get back. Shouldn't be tyre pressures because there's a, a tyre pressure warning in here. But some people just reset them <laughs> because they can't be doing with the aggravation of having the light on. They never think to go and put air in the tyres. Here we go. Just absolutely lovely to drive. Very economical, good looking car, nice colour combination, grey metallic and this uh say that's that's to me is going back to the old days which is always a good thing in my book it's got proper switches or mostly proper switches apart from this touch screen sat nav your telephone controls on your steering wheel here the stop start off switch try as I might I just don't understand why that's invented the other day I was um, in a car and I was trying to turn across the road with traffic coming and as you would normally do you, you creep forward put your foot on the accelerator and it was an automatic and every every time there was a gap in the traffic the car decided to switch off it was just an absolute night nightmare
So I'll finish the test drive there. I'll show you when we get back how to set the sat nav, how to pay your mobile, how to delete a mobile, how to stream audio, and uh, see in the next video, which could possibly be a uh, Audi SQ5. Um, what else have we got? We've got some lovely cars just come in. We've got some older cars that I need to get round to doing as well, which I, I have managed to. Uh, oh yeah, the Discovery van, the Discovery commercial, I need to do that. Um, the Volvo, thought he was going to turn into me then. Gotta say, the steering on this is fantastic. Anyway, enough of that. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.